Is America feeling the bailed out blues? Why is it that every attempt by Washington to bail out the economy, either by pumping money into banks or bailing out folks into foreclosure, um, it only seems to be driving the stock market lower and lower. I mean, we reached an all a six year high or low. I mean, the lowest point we've seen the Dow in six years this week after President Obama st signed that stimulus package on Tuesday. With us now to get a read on what Americans are saying, radio talk show host Bill Press, host of the Bill Press Show and conservative radio talk show host Mary Walter. Thank you both for coming on. Thank you. Hi, um, Bill, react to Vicki Deacon from Boca, uh, Boca Raton, Florida. She emails us, all these bailouts are disastrous, sickening, and dumb. How many individuals decide to get out of debt by increasing their spending? But somehow we are supposed to believe that the government, our inept, corrupt government, she calls it, can somehow magically spend its way out of this disaster. Well, what's the alternative? Uh, I'm afraid I'd have to ask. Look, I don't think any of us like uh, huge government spending. I think, though, in this case, most economists agree. I certainly agree, and most of my callers do, that we're in such a deep, deep hole that only the government can help us get out of it. And, uh, you know, it's going to take some time. It's not going to be overnight. But it's at least we're moving in the right direction. Julie, I got to say, I think the market is responding. And the reason the market went down so much is it's the bank stocks. At least that's what my broker tells me, an analyst that I've talked to. They're worried about the banks. They're worried about the government taking over the banks. And I think you've got a case now of loose lips, particularly Alan Greenspan and Chris Dodd out there talking about nationalization of banks, where President Obama says he's against it, it's not going to happen. I think it was very reckless of Dodd and Greenspan to go out there saying just the opposite. Mary? Yes? <laughs> what are your people saying to you? I mean, are they as positive as Bill is? Uh, no, absolutely not. I had a listener say this to me, and I think this is so, it just sums it all up. They said, you know what, when the Mustang Ranch couldn't pay their taxes, the government took the Mustang Ranch over, the same people who are going to bail us out of this. And they ran the Mustang Ranch into bankruptcy selling sex and whiskey. So they can't sell sex and whiskey and make a profit, and we're supposed to trust them with trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. Uh, Turf Bob on Twitter writes, it's reasonable to assume that some of this bailout is necessary. Now it hangs on us as we're doomed if it doesn't happen. Mary on Twitter, uh, cool. actually, no, I'm sorry, Dark Knight 3565 on Twitter writes, these bailouts are supposedly loans, aren't they? My greatest concern is that we are not doing enough to secure these loans. Mary, yeah. he makes a good hey, point. I think it's I think yeah, it's a great just, point, and I don't I don't know, and, and maybe no. Bill's hearing the same thing. But what I hear from my listeners is they don't trust the government. Bottom line, and I think it's at a, well, an all-time high, and they are angry. <laughs> they don't they're not going to see this money back, and they know it. All right, Bill. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. Look, uh, we're facing we're on the brink of the worst worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. What are we going to do? Sit around and do nothing? I mean, this is crazy. There are some people who are always going to hate the government. At the same time, they want their Social Security, they want their Medicaid, they want their highways, they want their police department, they want their military. I'm on. I'd say get real. And by the way, the government is not taking over anything. The federal government is putting money out for construction projects. It's putting out money to rebuild schools. It's putting out money to help people get new uh, extended unemployment benefits. It's putting out money to the states and to the cities to keep people in, in, in their jobs and in their homes. That's needed right now, like it or not. Mm. But, but, but these projects are short term. Once the road is built, these people are unemployed. And we all know that these jobs oh, are going to be on. union jobs, and it's not going to put anybody in a job who's sitting on an unemployment line right now. Yeah. You're not going to get a whole now, lot a of tech wait, whoa, 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 guys whoa, whoa, whoa. with a shovel whoa, whoa, on your whoa, whoa, whoa. local street. All right, it's Bill, not final word, and well, then I got to go. First of all, hey, quickly, quickly, okay, quickly. First of all, the best jobs in the world are union jobs. But listen, we're talking about education the most expensive jobs. We're talking jobs about in the police world are jobs. jobs. These are not temporary jobs. We're talking about teachers and police and firemen All and we're union. talking about you know health health workers I don't know whether the union or not these are good and paying jobs cost keeping money. families in their homes putting food on the table I mean th th this again if government can't do this and step in and help right. out at this time then you might as well just have anarchy an 18 year old on Twitter writes yes and kids my age 18 are going to have to pay for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Smart kid. All right. That's all the time we have. Mary Walter, Bill Press, thank you thank very you. much right, for coming for on. As, as much as I love Bill, Mary wins the argument because she started talking about prostitutes and whiskey, which will <laughs> win the argument every single time. Oh, my gosh.
You said that, right? <laughs> what yes, was it? and our government couldn't make money selling prostitutes hey, and whiskey. Hey, for the record, I think prostitution should be legal and so should whiskey. <laughs> well, so so that's go, why right? Elliot Spitzer is so rich. <laughs> it all makes sense. Uh, it always comes back to the governor, doesn't it? <laughs> Client number nine. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody.